I said horizontal. Welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make mango ice cream. Homemade mango ice cream with only five ingredients. Come on in the kitchen. I've already put in a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of just regular white cane sugar. Pure cane sugar. Half a cup. It looks about like that. Now I want to add a little bit of vanilla powder, just to give it the vanilla ice cream a little bit of vanilla flavor. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of this. Pardon the mess in the kitchen. We just had um, uh, waffles for breakfast or brunch this morning, so we got to clean up from that. But um, okay, I can't get that in there. Usually I can. Um, this way. Gently, about a teaspoon of vanilla. I want to put a teaspoon there, not just a teaspoon. Teaspoon of vanilla. And then, this is a very key ingredient. This is one of the most key ingredients of homemade ice cream. People forget. You have to do at least one eighth of a teaspoon of salt one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. This makes the ice cream congeal. This makes it harden up and solidify. Otherwise, if you don't do it, it just becomes too mushy and runny and you're left with a pile of mush, which is good. I mean, it's good for smoothies, but if you want ice cream, you gotta have that. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla powder, half a cup of sugar. Now comes the Half and half. Organic, half and half, a quart. This will make for some, this is about all you need for the cream. And, by the way, it's National Ice Cream Day. National Ice Cream Day, so that's why we're making ice cream. July 21st, National Ice Cream Day. So we're celebrating on a hot summer day here in Texas. Pour the whole thing in. Go ahead and pour the whole thing in. They get in in here. Get on in here and check this out. Look at that goodness right there. Look at that cream looks really creamy. Oh, that looks good. Now, what I'm gonna do, I could add my fifth ingredient here. So now we got four ingredients. We've got sugar, salt, vanilla powder, and the half and half. That's four ingredients. We could make vanilla ice cream right here with this, or you could add your fifth ingredient at this juncture, which if you were doing coffee ice cream, you'd add your coffee right now. About two teaspoons of instant coffee. But we're gonna make mango ice cream today. Mango, it's a hot day. We're gonna mango ice cream, just a little bit of uh, naked Mighty Mango juice. But I'm gonna wait to blend this till later on in the blending process of the actual ice cream. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna add it now. I'm gonna wait until ice cream is more fluffy. That way it won't, the mango won't get in the way of any fluffing of the actual ice cream, which is important. You don't wanna ruin that. Sometimes you can ruin the fluffiness of ice cream if you add the ingredient at the beginning. You wanna add it towards the end. So take a whisk and stir all these ingredients up. Stir the main four up. Whisking really good, really hard. And, ooh, now we get some good froth. That's good, you want the froth right there. All right, and then we'll add this to our ice cream maker. Welcome back. All right, so we've stirred up our ingredients. Do one more a whisk there. And now I've prepared the ice cream maker. This is a homemade ice cream machine from Cuisinart. You wanna make sure you've at least frozen your ice cream barrel for at least 24 hours in a, in a freezer. You wanna have at least 24 hours in a freezer so it gets good and cold so ice cream can freeze. Then ice cream. 
put that in your lay the barrel inside the ice cream maker put the the blender contraption inside there and then put on the doohickey the cover doohickey there. there you go that allows it to uh, lock in place then all you gotta do is plug it in plug it in turn it on all right it's on and running Start it up one more time, and then here we go. We're gonna add it in slowly to the top. All four ingredients that we stirred up earlier. Make sure you scoop it all out, scrape it all out. Okay, that's that, and then just set your timer. If the camera lady will come over here for a second. Yeah. Set a timer for about 23 minutes. Usually you want to let the ice cream run for about 25 to 27 minutes, but since we're going to add an ingredient towards the end, we'll set it for 23 minutes. When that timer's up, we'll add in this mango to let it swirl in the fluffy ice cream towards the end of the blending process. That's gonna be really, really good, I think. So come back in 23 minutes. We'll show you the All next right, step. come over here. It's almost been 23 minutes. All right, time's up. You can see now the ice cream is, has really fluffed up beautifully. It looks delicious. So rich and creamy, get it in, in there a little bit more. Oh yeah, that looks good. So now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna add this little bit, of, little bit of mango concentrate. Very, very good, rich mango. We're gonna let this blend in, not very much, as you can see, just enough to really make a nice swirl. So watch this. Oh yeah, oh my, I think this is going to come out really nicely. All this mango is going to get swirled in there. Sometimes you have to take a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a uh, stir, silicon or plastic. If you don't want to get metal. It will scrape and scratch the side of your inside of your uh, ice cream barrel. But you want to get a little stir and kind of like break up the ice cream a little bit and help it help it along, help it stir up a little bit, help it break up that. Congealed frozen cream and help it stir. And the best part is licking the stir after you've done that. Mm. Very good. Perfect for a hot summer day in Texas. All right, now come back here. You can see it start starting to swirl again. After we broke it up with the stir, now the ice cream is starting to swirl just a little bit. Ever so slightly. Now you can tell it's getting really thick, which is what we want. You want thick ice cream. It's looking very good. By now, the ice cream machine has been going for about 25, 26 minutes. So we're almost ready to pour it into our ice cream cartons. You can see I'm wearing my elephant pants from Thailand. These elephant pants happen to have cats on them. Don't ask me why. There's lots of cats in Thailand. All right. So we got ice cream cartons here, quart size ice cream cartons. So you'll notice that a quart of half and half makes two quarts of ice cream, which is great. You get double the fun. All right. I think we're about ready. So we'll take that stir 
we had. We'll use this to scoop out the ice cream. It could go a little bit longer, but let's call it. Let's call it right there. Take this off. The doohickey. You can also sometimes lick the inside of this with your finger. Mm. Very good. Mm. Careful, that will drip. Then take this, carefully take this off. Scoop the ice cream, or uh, brush the ice cream off of the blender gizmo. Off into the barrel. And you don't have to be perfect, just get most of it off. And then put it in your uh, mixing bowl. And then take the barrel and get ready to scoop. Okay, it is still a little runny. I think the, the mango may have made it a little bit too runny. But it's going to be just fine, I think. It's very, very creamy right now. It's very, very creamy. Almost like gelato at this point. Can you get in here and take this out? Almost like gelato. It came out kind of fast. You have to be careful. It keep the cord kind of fast. This one, this, this next uh, cord will not come out as fast because it's on the side. The side is where it's most frozen, most solid. In the middle, it's kind of runny. But can you see in there? That looks very, very good. Very refreshing. Oh my. Oh yeah. Very. It's congealed nicely. Very rich and creamy. Oh no. Oh, get a load of this. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Put that in there. Oh man. This is gonna make very good ice cream on a hot summer day. Our camera lady is eating the ice cream as she's filming this video on how to make ice cream. Homemade ice cream. Which is one of the perks of the job. Okay. This one is about the creamy part, the gelato part. Mmm. Mmm. Magnifique. Magnifique. That is good. Well, we won't do it now. We'll let this sit in the freezer for a little bit, but later on when we serve it up, we'll add chunks of real mango on top to just do it up just one more notch. All right, so. You could eat the ice cream right now. I like to eat it right now when it's still kind of runny. I think that's optimal, really creamy and almost like gelato, like I said. But most people like to put it in the freezer at this juncture, and this will harden it up even more and turn it into like more traditional ice cream, what people think of when they think of ice cream. So we'll put it in the freezer for at least an hour or so and that'll make it really good and we'll come back and show you when that happens welcome back the ice cream has been freezing in the freezer all this time it's been about a couple hours we're gonna open it up and eat here we go first crack open Ooh, looks good Ooh, that looks good that looks good ice cream scooper that doesn't look like the vanilla, not like melty uh, um, mango. It doesn't look like mango ice cream. Wait till you taste it. Wait till you taste it. Okay. Mommy gets first bite. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now it is. Mm. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see how this tastes. Mango ice cream with mango cut on top for National Ice Cream Day. Here we go. Mmm. Refreshing. Delicious. Creamy. Mmm. Try this for yourself on National Ice Cream Day. Homemade ice cream. Homemade mango ice cream. Very good.